The Washington State Department of Transportation is correcting several hundred fish passage barriers by the year 2030, replacing culverts that hinder fish of all life stages from swimming freely through. The number of stream miles that become available for fish to spawn, forage, and grow in, referred to as habitat gain, is one of many factors used to determine when barrier corrections are prioritized for construction. We place a high value on barrier corrections, like Seabird Creek, since opening more habitat sooner benefits fish faster. The original barrier on Seabird Creek was located along US 101 near Port Angeles. The stream is a tributary to the Strait of Juan de Fuca. This barrier posed a challenge to fish movement because the old structure was too tall for some fish to navigate, too fast for some fish to swim against, and not deep enough for adult fish to swim through. Correcting this barrier restored access to a huge amount of habitat gain in the watershed, since there were no downstream barriers and very few upstream barriers. In total, the correction improved access to about 34 miles of fish habitat, 31 miles of which became immediately accessible after correction, like for this Chinook salmon observed following construction. This barrier correction was also bundled with a correction along Bagley Creek under US 101 nearby, since the two sites are in close proximity. The correction at Bagley Creek improved access to approximately seven more miles of habitat. The Seabird Creek project removed the outdated box culvert and replaced it with a new bridge in the westbound direction. Two retaining walls were placed adjacent to the new stream channel to provide structural stability under the previously constructed eastbound bridge and to keep the stream slope stable in the project area. This was very important due to the extremely challenging geotechnical considerations of the site. Large wood was also added to the stream to simulate the natural stream condition. Together, the correction of these barriers will open more habitat and add to the beneficial work already happening to other streams by Clallam County, the Washington Department of Natural Resources, the North Olympic Salmon Coalition, the North Olympic Land Trust, the Jamestown Sklalem Tribe, and others. While not all barrier corrections will result in such large amounts of habitat gain for fish like at Seabird Creek, each correction helps in the overall effort to collectively open more habitat. In some cases, our work gives salmon access to historic spawning areas they may not have accessed for decades. To learn more about Washtot's Fish Passage Program, completed projects, or upcoming construction, visit our website. Thank you for watching.